So here's the next question for you. Um, how and why did you decide to try out for Team Israel? And like, like how did you just find out like that you'd be like that you had the opportunity to play for them? Um, so the story with that goes. Uh, I will start with this. This is how I kind of go. How I tell this story. I will never forget in 2017, uh, spring of 17, we were playing in Texas at University of Texas, and I remember like staying up late that night before the game to watch like team Israel play uh, in the world baseball classic um, at that time. Um, so I was following rooting for them in the 17 world baseball classic that came in fifth, got an automatic burst for 2021. And I always said to myself, like, if I play professional baseball, like this is something I want to be a part of. I was born and raised Jewish, grew up Jewish. I knew I would be able to represent the team. Didn't know anything about baseball coming back to the Olympics. And randomly in 2018, when I was playing in the Frontier League with the normal Corn Belters, uh, ironically, around that time, Nate Mulberg, who is an assistant coach at University of Richmond, he came on during my sixth and final year. We became really close, became good friends, is Jewish and very involved in like Maccabi or was involved when he was younger in the Maccabi games um, and Israel baseball and all that. So. He apparently said something in the summer of 2018 to the person who was appointed manager of Team Israel about me. Don't know what happened behind the scenes there, but like literally right around the same time, the manager that I had in normal in the Frontier League asked us if we if anybody was interested in playing winter ball, like any of those winter leagues that I just mentioned to you guys. And I said, like, oh, I'd love to play for Team Israel. There's no league in Israel. Well, there's youth. There's younger leagues. There's no professional league in Israel. I just simply said that saying, like, I'd love to play for them in the next World Baseball Classic. Legit, the next morning, I got a call from him saying, hey, uh, it's made a few phone calls yesterday. Um, made a few phone calls yesterday, and you're going to get a call from either the general manager or the manager of Team Israel. Like, it seems like they're interested in having you. Like, I don't know much else, but just expect a call. And either that day or the following day, I got a call from the manager who's actually based out of Elmsford and has a baseball facility just south of us in Elmsford, had no idea it was there. I had heard, heard of it, but didn't know the connection. And he basically was like, Jonathan, like, well, he calls me Johnny. And he, that's, he and said that immediately on the phone. He's like, Johnny, like, if you're healthy um, and you're still playing, I had no idea you were an independent ball. I had no idea you were Jewish because of your last name. Like, I would love to have you. Yeah. So apparently his oldest son is my wow. age. His oldest son's my age. I don't forget what high school they went to down county. I think we played together in high or played against each other in high school, and then he played at Bucknell. And I pitched against Bucknell in college. So like, I didn't know the whole the guys, the managers, Eric Holtz. I didn't know the Holtz family. I had heard of them, but I didn't know the connection. I didn't know who, he knew who I was, and then he obviously didn't know I was Jewish. So I literally got the call from him after all that happened. He's like, "Look, like you're willing and you're healthy. Like we'd love to have you on the team." And then explain to me like the, how the citizenship process works and how I'll be hearing from people involved in that if this is something I want to do. And I was I was on board right away. Um, and I mean, being connected and being a part of of Israel and representing Jewish people all over the world like has become a huge huge part of my life and something that means a lot to me. So thanks for asking this question because I mean yeah it's opened up a million doors in into my life. Yeah, that's an awesome story. Um... You yeah. said Elmsford, for, so for a second I thought you were going to say Donovan Mitchell's dad. Uh, so Eric, so Eric Holtz and Donovan, Eric Holtz, the owner of the facility, and our manager and Donovan Mitchell are like, like they're really tight. Like they're really? Like he's, like oh, he's really good friends with uh, the Mitchell family. Like he, I've, I've, I've actually met him at his facility before. That's awesome. Like his jersey's hanging up all over. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Wow. I I know his. Well, I don't know his dad. I met his dad uh, a few times because. When I was like 12 playing for the Westchester Nationals during the winter, he like coached us. He wasn't our coach, but he just coached us during the winter. Ah, so, yeah, okay. he's not going to remember me, though. <laughs> Unfortunately. Just for every just for all the listeners too, um, we're talking. This is uh, West Northern Westchester, New York. That's where we are, where we do our it's where Bryce and I are from. So Elmsford's a bit farther south in Westchester. But just so for everyone who knows where we're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so 